So next what I want to do is I want to add some touch-up color. A little, few little touches of color in here to kind of liven it up so it's not just the two colors involved. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to choose a color for her lipstick here. So I'm going to move in close on her mouth. Choose a dark red-ish color. Maybe bring it a little bit over into the blue area. And I'll change my brush. Make it a hard brush, but then back, back off on the hardness just a little bit and reduce the size of it. That's good. So on layer one, which I'm going to rename now to lips. I'm going to paint that red color over her lips. If I hit the left bracket key on my keyboard, it's going to reduce the brush size. And next what I'm going to do is, so I can see what I'm doing, I'm going to change the blending mode of the layer. So let's try darken, or multiply, or overlay. Overlay is a bit too strong. What happens if I go with soft light? Soft light looks pretty good. This edge here is a little too obvious, so I'm just going to blur that out. I use the blur tool. And maybe I need to paint in a little bit more on this edge over here. So next what we can do is we can ch change the color of some of these flowers in our hair. Let's make this a different color. We'll make it a darker blue. And we'll create a new layer for that. We'll call this flowers. And we'll paint the flowers in. Let's get a look at how this is shaping up. So I'm going to change the blending mode on this one to soft light. We'll see how that's starting to look. How about overlay? I like soft light a little bit better. Pull back out and you can see that we're starting to get some color in our image. Let's change our eye color a little bit too. Let's add some color to our eyes. Let's create a new layer for that. Name this one eyes. I'll choose a color. Maybe she has kind of brownish eyes, so I'm just going to move this down to brown. And we'll change the blending mode for this as well. Let's multiply look. soft light works. And there you go, that's how you add color in Photoshop.